What's up, everybody? I'm Evan Rabbit. Welcome to Mobile Monday here on Torque Drift on a mobile platform. If you can see in the background, my M4 got a little bit of love recently over the past few days. So we're going to take a look at the M4, then we're going to get sideways. It's going to be all about those tandems and challenges here for today. So we are going to take a quick look at the M4. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. Let's get to it. So the M4 did get a little bit of love. We are at a pro status on the M4. So I believe this car is just under a thousand horsepower. I believe it's about 900 and something like that. 959. So we are going to buy different tires because the Nexons that I'm running might have a little bit too much grip. Ooh, what are those? Those are Falcons. Those even have even more grip than the Nexons. So we are going to use these ones we're going to instant buy those we're going to buy two sets and then we will make sure we put those on when we actually run the car so we're going to run some of the events that are going on here we do have a monroe formula drift for some crates so we're going to run that first and foremost Forty thousand, i believe it's a chase against odibakshis we're going to try to do it with the m4 struggle to get this one for some reason so we're gonna try it on the new tire set and see what we can do start in second and believe we're gonna be going into fourth gear Odie box is definitely getting a much better start and let's see I can't can't get up to get into tandem so the M4 is not going to cut it on the start. So, what better way to chase it down Odie than with Odie? So we're going to try and use Odie's car against him and see what we can accomplish. We're going to go all the way up in the fourth gear right away. Acceleration should be about the same. We initiated way too soon and nowhere near the wall so this is definitely not going to be able to complete it on this one because we were nowhere near the wall we need to be definitely near that upper wall in order to get all the close call points and the tandem points I've been struggling here at Monroe so not something that uh, I'm able to get very often so I'm going to try one or two more times here, and then we will switch it up and go to another track with the M4. And, yep, nope, can't do it. Just can't seem to get the car up onto the wall. So we're going to cut our losses on this one, because you guys don't want to see me keep losing. And then we're going to go see what else we can do. We got Abizu West, we got Downhill, we got Reticle 9. So we'll go to the Slab. Slab's always a fun track, and then we'll try Abizu West and all of that as well. But we are going to be bringing the M4 to the mix. Definitely like having a car that is not one of the FD Pro cars, one of my own cars, in the mix now again. And I'm definitely enjoying the mobile game more and more now that I have that since I've pretty much sold all my other cars. So this should be a good battle, 970 against 959. The M4, very stable car, and I've uh, definitely grown accustomed to it. You guys know I do work for BMW, so it's kind of uh, kind of fitting that we rock an M4. Full throttle, getting all these clips. There we go. So I think I've gotten this car pretty much dialed in. It does handle way better on the less grippier tires because it was gripping a little bit too much on those Nexons. I probably could have adjusted the tire pressure, but that's not going to help us. Get a little bit too saucy close to the guardrails and the jersey barriers kind of took a hit but we're not that far off says i yeah we're not really far down there i don't think we'll be able to get a chase that close in order to come across with a win on this one but we will definitely try our best oh 
use the wall to transition. That that's always good. Definitely been using clutch kick more. If you guys remember, I didn't use clutch kick for the longest time on the mobile because I didn't really get it to work how I wanted to. But now. Double tapping of the throttle here. Um, well, definitely good. We are still getting stuff for the new sponsor tree as well. So that's also a very good sign. We were close. I doubt we're going to get a rematch. It's probably not going to want to go again. Oh, we did. All right, so let's get a clean lead and see if we can't take a W on the second try. Rocking the black and gold. You guys remember my E46 with white white and gold, and I also had a black and gold version of my E46. I'm kind of paying tribute to my OG E46 car. If you guys remember from the live streams and everything like that, the car I used to basically use all the time. A little clutch kick there. I'm gonna try not to go. Oh, into the wall. Very shaky. Very shaky. So. I guess I need to tweak the rear suspension a little bit more because it's not working how I want it to. I still came out with an 81. I feel like the rear suspension might be a little bit too too soft. We may need to stiffen it up a little bit. So we are almost identical to his lead. So as long as we can throw a solid chase again, I feel like we should be able to take the W here. Oh, grabbing doors. A little door love on the S14. Much, oh, we lifted into the wall. So much more stable in this M4 than any of the other cars that I've been building recently. So if you guys want to see a full build breakdown on the M4, let me know down in the comments. We can do a full build breakdown episode on this M4. I think we took the win on that one. So I think we went one and one. So if you have to get a good, solid, clean lead, we did take that. We did take that win. Is he going to want to go for a third a third run? Tiebreaker? One and one? Maybe? That is a negatory. He did say nope. So let's go take a look at some of the other tracks and see what other tracks we can get into. Apparently, my phone needed an update, and... It didn't earlier. So, Ebzu West Formula Drift. Definitely a fun course. Hopefully, the M4 can handle it. Going up against whew, that FD of Mad Mike. Proper car to have here. So, we're just going to try get our good initiation. Throw it in, long on the handbrake, kind of cut it down, get that inner clip. There we go, much, much more solid on this track than some of my previous builds. So 39 to 33, it should be a close battle. We gotta try chasing on this track is one thing that I'm not 100% on because I always tend to uh, go too hard going into the first turn and we end up uh, bashing into them. Definitely got m way more power than I do on the start and that's exactly what I said would happen. Just trying to play that catch up game and well, lost in the sauce somehow managed to get somewhat of a chase. I don't think it's going to be enough to take a win. But we will definitely see. No, we did not take the win. Fortunately, we could not... And he doesn't want to go again. We could not keep up on the start with that pro car. Let's see what else we got. We got downhill section. Um, did my game glitch? Oh, it recycled. Alrighty then. So we go to Gingerman. Apparently it recycled on me when we were trying to switch it up.
R35, 1000 horsepower. Don't really remember this track. So, we're gonna be flying blind here. Initiate in. Is this just, is this literally just a roundabout? Oh, that's right, it is. It is just a loop around. We missed those outer clips, unfortunately, but I still think that's a decent run. 32. So they need to fix these replays with the cars constantly on handbrakes. No? Maybe? And the anticipation is killing me right now. So while we're waiting for that, like I said, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. If you guys want to see a build breakdown, let me know down in the comment section down below. And are we going to get a chance to run a tandem in here? Did he not run? Did the game glitch? Sad. So I think we will have to end it here because apparently we cannot get this run to finish. So <laughs> we're going to end it here. More episodes of Short Trip coming this week as well as continuing going to be starting the live streams again here soon once I get everything all set up on the new PC and everything with being able to do those live streams on the mobile. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. See you guys on the track.